only about 200 Greek bronze sculptures remaining in the world today. The rest have been melted down in times of war for things like cannons and armor. So it's no small feat that about 50 of these sculptures are present here today in Florence at Palazzo Strozzi for the exhibition Power and Pathos. Critics are saying that this is the one show in Florence in 2015 that is worth getting on a plane for. Let's find out why. There are four important reasons why you should come to see this exhibit. The first reason is breadth. The show brings together 34 museums in 13 countries, with the largest number coming from the Getty Museum in LA, to which the show will travel in July 2015. It will also go to the National Gallery of Art in Washington in December. The second reason is rare finds. The show contains a lot of famous Hellenistic works that you may already have seen, like the Sleeping Eros of the 3rd century BC from the Met in New York, a Greek work that the Romans appreciated and the Renaissance artists after that. But there are also a couple of lesser known works, many of which have fun backstories like having been discovered underwater. The third reason, Hellenism, is excellent. The Hellenistic Age is the top moment in Greek sculpture, when, as the exhibit's title says, they captured the true power and pathos of human expression in the still media of bronze and marble. Portraits of historical figures are displayed next to large-scale bronze gods, athletes and heroes, taking us on a discovery of the historical, geographical and political environment in which they were created. The fourth reason is the Renaissance influence. Florence is known as the Renaissance city, and this is a rare blockbuster to focus on the classical age. But as we well know, the Renaissance was inspired by the Romans, and the Romans aimed to continue the greatness of the Hellenistic period. So this show helps us understand the Donatellos and the Michelangelos we see in Florence's museums. Another final reason to visit this show is the opportunity to become an archaeologist yourself. You can actually win a trip to Athens by exploring the show and learning more about it, sending your proposal to the museum curators.